as classrooms across the country shift toward tech-driven learning. One program created right here in Pittsburgh is leading the charge. The Carnegie Mellon University Computer Science Academy just enrolled its 500,000th student. The curriculum teaches computer programming to middle and high school students, and it is completely free. How cool! Today we're joined by the creators, David Cosby and Mark Stelic, as well as a teacher and a student who are going through the curriculum themselves right now, David Hairston and Akshoth Giridhar. Thank you so much for joining us, fellas. Thanks for having us. This is great. So let's start off with you, David. Tell us more about kind of the creation of this program and why, especially right now, you think it's so important. Okay, well, about seven or eight years ago, Mark and I were doing outreach with a bunch of local schools, and there we noticed this uh, increasing need not just to support their students, they needed curriculum. Sure. And, and the, the, the state was changing so much, the state of, the, uh, of computer science, they, they needed to get off of every two years something new happening. So we gave them stability with a free curriculum that we could reach all schools, and it's caught on, right? Absolutely, but here's yes. the thing in terms of why it matters. You hear like uh, Mark Zuckerberg say, there won't be computer programmers anymore. Mm -hmm. um, I don't believe that, and Bill Gates doesn't. He says there's gonna be lots of them, but that's not what we're doing. We're teaching creativity, problem solving, and critical thinking, and those skills everybody needs, no matter if you're a programmer or not. Yeah, and, and like he mentioned, this has really caught on. Why do you think this has, has grown so much in such a short period of time? So we started with 14 schools, mostly in Western Pennsylvania, as a pilot in spring 2018, um, and about 400 students. And a large part of this, I have been working with the AP program in years past, um, teachers don't have access to good curricular tools. Mm -hmm. And even the tools that are out there, they don't have the mechanism to decide what's good and not good. Um, David did a presentation at a local high school in the, the fall of 2017 where a teacher said, look, there's a lot of stuff out there. We are not computer scientists, yeah. you are. Yeah. We don't know what's good, you do. You're from Carnegie Mellon, why don't you make something and yeah, it'll sure. probably be okay. <laughs> we trust the yeah, you a lot. And to thing. be fair, the David behind me was one of those pilot teachers seven years ago, right? And is now thankfully here to celebrate our 500,000 student who is enrolled in that curriculum. That's amazing. And David, I mean, I'd love to talk to you about teaching this curriculum and what your experience has been like, because as you mentioned, it is changing. Every, you said every two years, I feel like every day right. from what we talk about, but what has that been like? Well, so these guys have done an amazing job of, of creating this curriculum that, that can take you from, like you have no experience with coding, sure. but you can have fun learning how to code, mm -hmm. and then as you progress through it, you get to the end of the program where you are very good at coding, coding concepts, coding strategies, coding algorithms, and you can get Carnegie Mellon credit for, for your knowledge, right? And, and so, yeah. And, by the way, Carnegie Mellon credit, good anywhere on the oh, I would say. <laughs> I, I didn't doubt it for a second. Bragging rights, yeah. really, is what I would use it for. And right? I saw here in the program right now, and you're moving on to the next level, how has it been, and what has been the thing that you have taken away from it? See, I really like it. I've really enjoyed the program, too, of course. So it, with anything with school, it's like it's like a, a lot of work and everything, but I've really enjoyed the CMU platform. And one of the big things about coding, like in comparison to like math or English or anything, those are things you can really get like through like a textbook or like a teacher explaining it. But with code specifically, learning how to use it functionally and learning how to actually use it in the real world, that really comes through just using it again and again and again through like a software like CMU CS Academy, which has really helped develop my knowledge and many students all across the world. And I feel like these days, the computer programming and the computer science of it all. Social media has done a lot of a lot of things, we'll say, good and bad. One of the good being that I feel like I'm talking to high schoolers all the time about algorithms and things that, that how it works in our everyday life. I mean, this is such important information, not only for students, but I feel like for all of us who are using the internet every day. Would you agree with that? Undoubtedly. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Now, what's next? To tell, I know that, you know, we're growing every day, yes. I'm sure. <laughs> every second. Well, to begin with, uh, AI, as I mentioned, uh, one way or another, we're going to have to include AI fundamentally in our curriculum. Sure. Um, but we have to avoid the overdependence on it. We're having this problem at CMU in general, and all schools are, that students are actually learning less because of dependence on AI. Right. So we're figuring that out right now. We're not going to uh, let that out there until we have a better answer. But sure. yeah. come back soon, and we'll talk about that. No, you'll come back soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the other thing is, half a million is a very nice number, but there's way more people out there who have needs, way more students who we haven't reached. 
and we have to get innovative in finding ways to reach those students. Uh -huh. Well, thank you all for being here. What an incredible Truly. program, and good luck to you. Thank yeah, you very yeah. much. Thank you. He has a bright future. Absolutely. Sure. Come <laughs> back and teach us. Yes, please. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> all right, learn more about the CMU Computer Science Academy by visiting our website, kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh.